we will chant the shloka once again tatcha samsmrutya samsmrutya रूपमत्यद्भुतम हरे हे विस्मयो मे महान राजन हृष्या च पुनः पुनः सो फर्स्ट वी सी द वर्ड स्प्लिट हियर तत् च संस्मृत्य संस्मृत्य रूपम अत्यद्भुत हरे विस्मय मे महान राजन हृष्या च पुनः पुनः द संजया इज नौ स्पीकिंग विद धृतराष्ट्र द डयलॉग बिटवी द अर्जुन अंड कृष्ण इज ओवर कृष्ण अंड अर्जुन इज ओवर now sanjaya speaking with dhatarashtra and he said in the previous shloka that when he heard the when he remember the dialogue between the krishna and arjuna when we when he remember uh, when he remembers the what the krishna told he got the goosebumps here he says that while giving the upadesha to arjuna bhagavan shri krishna shown his paramatma swarupam even arjuna says when the shri krishna shows his vishwarupam arjuna says that hey uh, krishna till now i have seen you as a human i have seen you as a friend as my cousin brother so i have called you hey krishna hey o oh, are as we call our friends so i have called you i didn't give you much respect i uh, please forgive me for that i now i have known your true nature that you were the paramatma i have known you as now i have known you as the bhagavan so sanjaya again repeats the same he says i have seen now whenever i am remembering the vishwarupa of bhagavan shri krishna what he shown to arjuna to do dhyana bhagavan shri krishna says do dhyana on me mad bhava mad chitta bhava be do dhyana do bhavana on me as even in yoga sutra as uh, tadar uh, tadyapas tadarta bhavanam uh, it says the pranava uh, mantra should be chanted again and again to do bhavana on ishvara so similarly bhagavan shri krishna says do japa of me do japa of the paramatma do uh, bhavana on paramatma whenever he says the sanjaya now remembers the Uh, nature remembers the form of bhagavan shri krishna as the paramatma so he says samsmrutya samsmrutya whenever i am remembering this rupam atyadbhutam hare he it is not the usual form that we are uh, seeing the krishna normally uh, what we have seen uh, during all these days we have seen him as a human but he is not a human he is a paramatma and i am now seeing i am remembering the seen what he has shown his form to arjuna now i am whenever remembering it vismayah me jayate i am totally wonderstruck i i, I haven't seen the for such form uh, so it is uh, it's totally wonder to me and hrishyami punah punah i am feeling the happiness again and again when i am remembering it usually what happens when we get a very much fond what we the happiness when we get it again and again then the happiness won't be much more exciting for example if we eat the same food even though it is very much fond to me it is very tasty if we eat it again and again it is no more exciting but the form of uh, the happiness through uh, from the form of bhagavan shri krishna what the sanjay is getting he says whenever i am remembering the i am see remembering the form of bhagavan shri krishna the happiness going more, is growing more and more and i am getting the happiness again and again so this is the uh, gist of this shloka thank you we are celebrating the 7th naturopathy day
Uh, so we're very happy uh, in having such a day which is formulated seven years before. Uh, though naturopathy is not so new as seven years, it is there from ages before, but uh, there was uh, an All India Nature Care Federation's trusteeship which was signed by Mahatma Gandhi on this day in 1945. So we started commemorating this as National Naturopathy Day since 2018. So in this regard, there is an international conference which is going on in Nagamangala and we have all our dignitaries from our principal, vice chancellor, Guruji, CMO, everybody are attending the conference there. But it would be very bad that if we don't have some event happening in our own mother institution. So we have some small program which would be happening throughout the day. But uh, as uh, the start of this year, we wanted to do something innovative. So the School of Yoga and Naturopathy Medicine has made an e-magazine, which is the first of the kind in Esfiasa. This is the first magazine for our school. So we wanted to make it as an e-magazine. One thing, all of you are interested in digital media. And the other thing, we wanted to be a little eco-friendly as well. Uh, and this magazine is going to be a little contemporary. So we are redefining the usual school and college magazines, you know, the same kind of section. So the uh, background to the theme, everything is going to be different. We would be sharing the QR code of the magazine after two days once we have our, our other sister concern colleges of Ayurveda and nursing also joining us. But today, this day being very uh, special, very auspicious and we wanted to mark the beginning of our e-magazine today. We have our dignitaries, uh, Dr. Nagratna Didi who has been the mother of the institution and we have Subramanian ji here. We want both of their blessings and auspiciousness to release our e-magazine for today. So with all the blessings of the dignitaries on the dais and wishes from all of you seated here. We would love to do this uh, auspicious beginning of our first issue of Naturopathy e-magazine. The name of the magazine, you can see it is Pratibimba, so they will be releasing it now. So Pratibimba is the reflection. We wanted to reflection on different categories, reflection of us, reflection of different generations, different attitudes. So there are the, you can, uh, once you start going through, you would understand this. Thank you, Didi, for blessing us with the uh, e-release of the magazine. And in absentia, I would like to thank the support given by Dr. Manjanath, our Vice Chancellor, in bringing this out and the constant support from our Principal, Dr. Apar, for being the editor for this and the entire team uh, headed by Dr. Arundhati and support from Dr. Ritesh. And we have a beautiful team which were working day and night, even till this morning they were working on it. So we have uh, uh, our students, Sadavadyan, Saima, Sakshi, Shraddha, Shreya and Mahi Gupta. So these were the backbones behind these magazines. Though we are the moral support, the content support is all from them. And thank you all for contributing the articles as well. So I would like to have some blessing words from Didi in this regard on Naturopathy Day to bless the budding doctors. Good morning. Good morning. Suprabhatam. So, on this day, we all should take some oath, is it not? What could be the oath as a naturopath or others also? I know that in Prashanti, we serve vegetarian food. But I know many of you have come from a background where you are taking non-vegetarian food also. When you go back home on holidays, can you take an oath today with great commitment that as a naturopath, as a yoga person, I will not consume any, any non-vegetarian food. Can you do that? Okay. Take your hand, put it on your heart and declare for yourself, I will turn 100% vegetarian today onwards. I'll tell you an example. I used to do this for every participant when they were in Prashanti on the day of their discharge. I would tell them this. Can any of you take an oath that I will never consume 
non vegetarian food and many people would raise their hand then i tell them if you are already a vegetarian don't raise a hand those who were taking non vegetarian who, who want to take a oath today that i will no i'll become a vegetarian two three hands raised and one of them was an international person he said thank you madam i am going to change to be a vegetarian what motivated me was in your lecture you had put one slide after reading that slide uh, that moment itself i took a oath what was that slide an englishman said that i do not want my stomach to be the graveyard of dead animals this touched me madam so from today i'm going to not only be a vegetarian i'll turn vegan so all of you teach your family members also to turn vegetarian wish you all the best i wish all the best for all the students who are directly indirectly involved in production of this pratibim wish you all the best thank you didi for those blessing words i think this should be the pratibimba for all of us let us take little little steps forward towards bringing that the, being the theme of this year's naturopathy day is healthy aging and longevity i think uh, what she said that not making ourselves graveyard for animals could be the first step towards longevity and healthy aging thank you didi for those blessing words i would now request subramanian ji to give his blessings to the budding naturopaths here nature is the best scripture nature is the best mother nature is the best healer nature is the best problem maker and nature is the only person or god or guide to solve our problems let us observe nature let us follow nature let us take the guidance of nature to overcome nature to go beyond nature to become superhuman gods thank you very much god bless you thank you supramaniam ji uh, thank you all for staying for a little more time today and after the maitri melan i request the bny students and faculty to stay back we would be having a structured panel discussion on the current scenario of naturopathy if any of the students of uh, physiotherapy and yoga are interested and you get uh, your uh, relevant permission from your faculty you are also allowed to join the panel discussion so after that we would be having some activities and post lunch we have pick and speak competition uh, this has been announced to the other school uh, school of physiotherapy school of yoga as well so the participants please come to shruti mandir sharp at 2 o'clock if you are participating in pick and speak competition yeah and uh, the pgs if you are free from your section duties and classes you all also should uh, be joining the panel discussion which would start post maitri melan uh, even interns if they are free from their section duty can attend my, uh, the panel discussion thank you all so much and a very happy naturopathy day to the whole fraternity here let's work on healthy aging and longevity thank you so much thank you dignitaries om sarve bhavantu sukhinah निरामया भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चि दुख भाग भवे ओ शाति शाति शाति